Hello everybody, Anthony here, Sailing Vessel Sunspot. I am on the new to me Pearson 30, 1973 that I bought off the Chesapeake Bay in Northeast Maryland. That's right, Maryland, I'm not in Hawaii anymore. So I sold uh, the Sunspot in Maui and I flew out here and bought a new boat. I'm gonna take this vessel down to the Caribbean. Check it out, why not? Here we are in the cockpit here. Massive tiller. She's got a lot of storage down in the cockpit lockers. All my tools and everything are already down there. Self tailing winches. Gotta love that. Brand new, too. She's got a shiny new compass. Ooh, she's a beauty. Yes, sir. Love that. We got a depth gauge as well. Finicky depth gauge, I'm told. It likes to beep at you in deeper waters. <laughs> um, we got a little Dodger built here as well. Let's go forward. So you notice the paint. It's kind of like the top coating of the green is kind of worn off a little bit. But I like the color scheme. Um, we got a spinnaker pole. It's a beautiful thing. There is a spinnaker sail on board as well. Rigging's in great shape. We got lines for days going up the mast because we got the spinnaker halyard, the main halyard, the jib halyard, and then it has a CDI flex furling system, which has its own halyard internal as well, so I don't even need that bow halyard. We got a hatch. This hatch goes right into the captain's quarters, actually. So you get beautiful airflow right on top of your head, which is awesome. Should keep the captain quarters nice and cool. And if you see how far we are, this is right where your head is in the captain quarters. And you get all this room to stretch out in. It's actually pretty big down in there. We got a solar vent. This is in the cabin. So keep that hot air once I get to Florida. Venting out. Beautiful vessel. Looking forward to splashing her. All the navigation lights work, the masthead lights work, the bow lights work. So, uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Let's go inside and check it out, huh? The decks doesn't have any soft spots either. Real solid boat. Okay. Smaller turtle hatch than my Catalina had, so that's going to be a little bit safer offshore. Go down in and see what we got. So as soon as you come down the companion way, got a nice little kitchen with a propane stove. Sink and just storage everywhere in the back corner there as well. There's under the cabinet storage. We got a little uh, bunk here with storage here, 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 and up here. Inside these storage here, there's more storage below the storage. And then you got the drawer that comes out as well. Little cubby hole. That's a speaker, 12 volt fan. This table folds down and then folds out as well so it can be accessed by both sides. So pretty nice. Let me go over to the other side of the boat. Another bunk over there. More storage, 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 storage. You don't often hear about plenty of storage on a boat, but there's plenty of storage on this boat. The quarter berth here goes all the way to the uh, stern of the vessel, and it's all open into the engine room and everything else as well. So right now I have all my sails stuff back in there, which is kind of insulating it nicely. Engine is under here. It's a universal atomic 30 horsepower that runs. Runs well, actually. It was rebuilt um, about eight years ago and used for only six years for short runs. So it's still in pretty good shape. Let's go check out the head. Um, there's no doors, just curtains, which I love because uh, doors tend to bang open in the wrong time when you're in open ocean. So in here, we got a sink. We got a head. Oh. This is the cat food. Let me get this down here. Blue, my cat. We have a head for me and a head for the cat. 
<laughs> so we each have our own head side by side. Pretty cool. Over here, we have a wet locker. So I have my wet raincoat hanging there, and that'll drip down into the bilge. So you can throw wet sails, wet um, uh, clothing, whatever in there. This port hatch opens. How nice is that? Get a nice breeze coming in when you're going to the restroom. So I'm grateful for that. And then you even get a mirror right here. So pretty cool. Back it up here, captain's quarters. Wow, there's a lot of room in here, guys. Two people can actually sleep comfortably. It's pretty nice. Get a 12 volt fan there, and I got some clothing in the corner. There's another fan for when I'm in the harbor. And you can see the hatch right above here. Keep you nice and cool. So a lot of space in the new sunspot. I'm pretty excited. Um, hopefully going to be splashing here in the next couple of days. I'm begin my way out to Chesapeake Bay. And then uh, maybe exploring the ICW a bit. So thanks for uh, taking the tour with me, guys. Aloha.